school then? Good evening, everybody, and welcome to Manning Field. Uh, as we kick off 2021, the soccer season, there'll be, it'll be different this year because there'll be basketball, there'll be soccer, there'll be football, all played together because different leagues play are going to play different sports at different times. Lynn Tech uh, couldn't play basketball and it involved themselves in the Jets hockey program because they're playing in the Commonwealth Conference League, not the Northeastern Conference. So they are playing soccer, boys and girls. A lot different this year, the teams are spread out there's no benches on the other side. They have to spread them out. Not as much as the football teams have to spread out down to the 10 yard line, but they have to spread out. There's no handshaking. Uh, you can't head the ball. My understanding is you can't head the ball. You can't, it used to be like sliding into third base. You could slide to the ball and before someone else was coming the other way and Used to be a few collisions, and there's one now early as the player goes down. And collisions now could be a little more meaningful than in most years because they haven't had a lot of time to work out. Kids aren't, aren't in school yet, they're still going. At home learning. And like at the end of the game, you can't shake hands, you can't get together and hug. And if you if you got relatives on each team, you can't give anybody a hug. You have to stay a distance. Everybody has to wear a mask while they're playing. So it's totally different. William Martinez is a keeper for Lintec. Mundus Paul, or Paul Mundus, I should say, excuse me. And the kick is popped up in the air. Pop straight up. They can't get the head. They can get their shoulder on it. You can bump a little bit, but they're going to call a lot of contact. Broken up. Long lead pass, trying to break open. Tech breaks it up. Knocked out of play. Quickly put back in play by Northeast. They still play 40 minute halves. I don't know about halftime. I know like in the basketball games, the halftime were like two minutes. First time they've been deep, they get blocked, knocked out, off tech, out of bounds. And from what I understand, there are no corner kicks either. I was thinking a corner kick coming up, but there are no corner kicks. Although that looked like, that just came from out of bounds. If 
They blew the whistle. That was very similar to a corner kick. I don't know what... I thought the corner kicks were outlawed. And now we're going to get a, a free kick from the 10-yard line. There was... It looked like the ball was beyond everybody, but somebody must have collided with somebody because they're giving Northeast a free kick. And they got a piece of it and knocked it wide. They got it out in front of the net. They got a shot at it, and they kicked it wide. So the first opportunity didn't miss by much. Trying to get it to the middle, broken up. And that's going to go out of play. They knock it deep, looking for a break. And just getting there and breaking it up. Northeast, nice defense. And they are having corner kicks. I thought that I, reading the, the rule changes, I thought it said that there would be no corner kicks, but because they're afraid of that collision out in front of the net, they knock it way too deep and out of play. And Mo Eric Moreno was the head guy for Lintec. Joe O'Brien for Northeast. These teams, this being Monday, uh, the girls are playing at Northeast as we speak. And then they'll take a day off. Wednesday, the Northeast girls team will come here. And the boys will be right back against Northeast at Northeast. And they'll play a third time during the course of the year because there aren't a lot of teams that are playing soccer now because a lot of them will be playing basketball and hockey at this point, like in English or classical. And we're going to play it taken down. Tershell Murphy was taken down. Tech has six freshmen and two, two eighth graders on this team. They kick it very deep. They just got a piece of it. Taken away, and they'll let it go out of bounds. Yeah. 
and go kick it out of play. Pop straight up in the air. And normally everybody would be going for it with their head. But you can't. So they're waiting for it to bounce. People trying to keep people away, blocking people out. Looks like we got a free kick coming up for Lynn Tech. From the, they put it back at the 12 yard line. So the first opportunity to get on the board and it get blocked in all those bodies wearing blue shirts. That one got blocked, and it bounces in to the goaltender, Mundus. Lost it, got it back. Back checking takes it away. So back and forth we go. Both teams have had an opportunity. Northeast free kick almost got them a goal. It went up in front of the net and it kicked it wide. The rebound. Tech got a free kick and it got blocked, never got to the goaltender. They knock it deep. And they pushed it a little bit too far ahead. They had three on one. And it gets knocked into the tech bench area. I thought it was Northeast that knocked it in. They must have called Lynn Tech offside. I have to greatly apologize. I just checked it out. I'm so used to seeing Tech wear white at home. Northeast is wearing white, and Tech is in the blue, and it was Tech free kick that almost got the goal. So I apologize for that.
We're 15 minutes into this first half. No score. Deep kick. Tech gets the shot. Goaltender just got a piece of it and tipped it over the net. Just got a piece of it and knocked it over the net. They had that long pass. Tech got a break. Now, long pass. Everybody catches up. Martinez comes out and gets it. Beat everybody to the ball. And Tech gets to kick it away. And they kick it out of bounds. Felipe de Oliveira was the guy that got the foot on the ball and looked like he had a goal and the goaltender took it away. They were just lining up a shot and he misplaced it off the foot. It might have gone wide, it might have gone inside the far post. A good bid by Jason Robles. Now we're going to get a free kick for Tech. So another scoring opportunity. Down around the 14-yard line. Just inside the 15-yard line the kick is coming from. They leave it, and they try to wind it around, and it goes high, wide, and out off the foot of Joe's Bell Murphy. So Tech has had the, the better of field position. They've been in the northeast end most of the time. Although for a while I thought it was the other way around because I got the teams fouled up. And northeast is way offside. Pick either one of the players that were way behind everybody. Well, Tech will get the kick from their own 45-yard line. <laughs> Arriaga kicked it away. Out, off northeast. <laughs> off ahead. <laughs> and they're going to call contact, I think, against northeast. Tech is going to get another free kick. This is coming even closer. This is from just outside the five yard line. Right about at the five yard line. Yeah, 
Looks like Murphy's going to take it again. He sets up that picket fence. Now, they, they pushed it quick to try and get a quick shot off, and Northeast blocked it and brings it back the other way. Tip to the near side. Northeast, nice little shift. Gets by everybody walking in. Big time block for Martinez. Big time save by Martinez, the goaltender. And when he if deflected out, they had a wide open net, and one of the defensemen, it may have been Ariaga, knocked it away. Big time. Tech misfired on that free kick, and it almost cost him. Northeast came back and almost scored. Halfway through and counting this first half, no score. Commonwealth Conference Soccer opening it of the season. Been a long time coming for these kids to get back out and get to work. Other other places like uh, Northeastern Conference and Catholic Conference Catholic Central League have been playing. They got a season in. St. Mary's got everything in. They played basketball. They played hockey. They played soccer boys and girls. They had track. They had golf. They'll get ready for a football season, as will Tech. Tech will start football this coming Friday. At the same time, English and Classical will be starting basketball. Breaks it up. If he's coming back a little bit, uh, maybe a little too much one on one here. Now he gets it back, knocked away again. Broken up by Tech, starting it back the far side. The one negative doing these games is it's virtually impossible to pick up all the numbers, especially when they're clear across field. Shot, big time saved by the goaltender. Paul Mundus picked that, just put his two hands up over his head and caught it just inches over his head, ticketed for the net. Well, Tech has turned aside once again. They've had a couple of opportunities. Nice defense there by Robles. Nice defense again as they almost had a breakaway. So unless they're really right down in front, if they go across the field, it's very difficult to pick up numbers. Tech, they knock it deep, and they knocked it too deep. I think it's going to go out of play. Drop it back to Robles. And center it. Northeast takes it away and kicks it away. Coming back the other way. They get it in the middle, but went off a foot. 
tech picks it off and clears it away. Well, he's had one scoring opportunity with the free kick, but never got to the net as it got blocked. And now Tech will knock it out of play. We'll have substitutions. One for Northeast, a few for Tech. Just under 15 minutes left in this first half. Tech has had the better of the field position. They've had a couple of opportunities. The goaltender Mundus has made a couple of saves. They were wide on a rebound off a free kick. But they haven't found the back of the net yet. Northeast came close. A great save by Martinez, the goaltender. And we're going to get Tech for Nick taking down a player. They kick it deep. Good try by Martinez coming out. Just out of what would be the end zone, picking it off and kicking it away. Tech got away with that. They just knocked the player down. They didn't call it. Out in front, and they pushed it too far. They had what they wanted. They had him out in front. He beat the defense. He was onside. And Gregory Amissi pushed it by the last defender, but pushed it too far. And Mundus was able to pick it off before he had that wide open break. So Tech was that close to breaking in alone. Tech took it away. Northeast takes it back. And then they knock it off Robles. Marino will kick it in. Uh, he just taps it. Now he gets it back. Gets it out in front, but it's blocked and knocked away by the Tech defense. And now Tech knocks it deep. Yeah, I couldn't get there. A little too late, it slipped out of out of play, off tech. Both teams trying to get control as it's bouncing around midfield. Northeast player goes down with contract. They haven't stopped the play yet. He's still down. Now Tech looked like they had a breakaway and they blow the whistle. And right away, Marino jumps up and says, here I am, I'm ready. This has got to be
there's a lot of flopping going on. I'm not accusing anybody of anything, but you watch the pros play and you see people go down, not even touched and get down looking for a call. And and it filters down to these kids the same thing. With any kind of a contact, they figure, I'm going to get the call. And they just mimic the pros. And that's a shame because invariably you always hold your breath because you wait and see if somebody gets up. When they go down, they look like they're down forever. And then all of a sudden, they blow the whistle, they stop the play, and they jump right up and go back to play. So you always wonder if they're acting, trying to win an Emmy. Northeast got a piece of it and kicked it back from the corner. And now they knock it off Robles out of play. They get it out in front and Bodies come together and it winds up on the far side without being touched. Now they clear it away. Gets by a couple of defenders, keeps it in play. Trying to center it, blocked. Blocked again by the defense. Tech keeping it alive. Shot. It might have gone wide. It might have gone inside the far post. But Mundus made another terrific save. Tech moved it around. Got the shot. Mundus made sure it didn't go in. It might have gone wide. But it might have snuck inside that far post. Tech has certainly had the better of the chances. And now here they come again. Blocked. Northeast takes it away. And now we got a takedown. And Northeast will get a free kick. They kick it very deep. They control it. Shot blocked. Nice defense out in front. That was Ariago with the defensive play. Northeast couldn't keep it in. Seven minutes and counting left in this first half. Still no score in this opening matchup of the season. We'll have Northeast, uh, well, excuse me, we'll have Lintec. Boys and girls soccer. We'll have tech football. We'll have St. Mary's football. And we'll have English and classical boys and girls basketball. All lumped in to one season. Usually they, it varies for the different sports. They try to kick it a field one off of St. Mary, uh, off of Lynn Tech hand. High and deep again. Northeast got a piece of it, tipped it, and it went out of play. Tech will kick it away. Tech lost it out of play. I guess one of the new rules now is 
everything is a kick in, not a throw in. He used to at out of play, he used to throw it in inbounds. Now you kick it. They go deep and they knock tech down. I thought for a second they didn't blow the whistle. It was a little late whistle, but they called it. They knocked them down. And they'll get a free kick just outside the 25-yard line. Now they put it at 29. And coming out is Mendes to catch it waist high. And he kicks it away. So Tech has had a little bit of the play. They've had a few scoring chances that Mundus made a couple of big saves. They shot a couple wide. Northeast really hasn't had. They had one scoring opportunity, and Martinez made a terrific save. And then Ariaga made a save on a, on a, on a rebound on that play. They move it across. They try to get the shot. They're out in front. And they knock it home. It bounced around and it wound up on the right side all by himself. And he had the, the back of the net to knock it in. And with just under four minutes left, Northeast grabs a one nothing lead. And I wish I could tell you the number. It was eight miles away and they surrounded him. But Northeast grabs a one nothing lead. Tech couldn't get possession. Northeast bounced it around. They got it to the backside. To the far post. He was all by himself. And he had a wide open net. Just knocked it home easily. So Tech, after all the chances they had coming so close from scoring a few, Northeast gets on the board first. They tip it ahead. Martinez comes out and grabs it, holds on and kicks it away. Put it deep, Martinez will field it, and he'll kick it away. Scoreboard will be off for the last two minutes. overran it. They get it back. Try to knock it deep. It got blocked. They'd love to get one here in the closing minutes to get back in this thing. They've got it deep. Still walking in. And rolls out of play. Off tech. Brief pause for replacements. Everybody back in their spot. Northeast will kick it away. As we're closing down this first half, Northeast scoring with just under four minutes left. To grab the one nothing lead.
Northeast breaks it up. They knock it deep. Tech knocks it away. And we get everybody pushing, bang, and whacking, and they call it against Northeast. Tech trying to hurry with the half winding down. Officials stopped it so he could do the kick again. Coming from just outside the 40 yard line. Closing seconds of this first half. They pop it up. They blow the whistle and that'll do it for the first half. So Tech had the better of the chances. They had a couple that Munda's made great saves on. They had a couple that just went wide. And then with just under four minutes left, Northeast got a wide open shot from about five feet. Martinez had no chance. They knocked it in the back of the net. And that's where we are at halftime. It's one nothing Northeast over Tech at halftime. The consensus of opinion here in the press box was that Gabriel Teixeira was the goal scorer. So we start the second half with Northeast leading it. One to nothing. And the amazing thing is if you watch the first half, obviously you saw Tech had several opportunities, a couple of good chances. The goaltender Mundas made a couple of really nice saves. A couple of other shots just went wide. A couple of free kicks were blocked before they got to the goaltender. They, they kind of dominated field position. They tried to get it in front, blocked and knocked away nicely by the Northeast defense. So Tech had all kinds of chances and then with just under four minutes left, Northeast made a couple of really nice passes and Gabriel Teixeira cut loose at the far post and had a wide open net and just knocked it home. Martinez had no chance. He made one great save in the first half and the rebound looked like it was a sure goal and it was Ariaga, the defender making a nice play blocking the shot Northeast trying to get loose and they left the net open and the shot went over the net Martinez came way out almost at a 10 yard line left the net open and they couldn't stop the Northeast player, but his kick got a little too much mustard on the kick and knocked it just over the net. I think that was McCarthy. He took it away from the defender, and Ariel Marino was the guy. Ariel Marino was that Northeast player who fought off the defender, got the ball, and Martinez was, from the goal, was all the way out almost to the 10-yard line, left the net wide open. And Northeast got the shot off, and everybody held their breath as it sailed high over the far post and out of play. So it was that close to being 2 nothing. Tech having trouble getting out of their end. Broken up and taken away. Down the far side, out in front, Martinez shot hopped it. And sitting right in his lap was Marino again, looking for the rebound. 
Martinez shot hopped it. Keck coming back down the near side. Still in control. Has it finally taken away? And it rolled out of play off tech. I'm kind of amazed a little bit at the number of fans in the stands because I thought originally that they weren't going to let anybody in. And not only are they in, some of them are a lot closer than six feet. <laughs> and I'm not sure they're all wearing masks. Northeast anticipated the pass, got there first and knocked it away. Now the long, deep pass, and they called Northeast offside. Marino said, no, I wasn't offside, but he was, way be he was well behind the defense. Heck, trying to come back, Northeast takes it away. Broken up nicely by, I think that was Robles. They knock it deep, Tech trying to get there first. Northeast takes it away. That was one of those 50-50 balls where I'm trying to get it, you're trying to get it, Northeast took it away. That's going to go out of play. Again, Martinez way out of the net. He was out near the 15-yard line, but not only that, but almost out of bounds on the near side trying to chase down that ball. I got to talk to Richie Avery about the clock. It always looks like it's stopped, but it's not. It's just counting like now it's 34.15 and it's been 34.15 for a while. And it's not really stopped because it just went to 34.0. So it held for 15 seconds and it skips, it holds up and then it just you don't see it counting, and it just flips by 10 or 15 seconds. And a lot of times you think, why is there a stoppage in play? The ball's in play. And it really isn't. It's just the clock missing a beat. Northeast wound up with it. Martinez made another save. They had lined up for a shot initially. They blocked it. They couldn't get the shot off. And that was Marino again. He got the shot off. And Martinez made the sliding save very nicely. And it's another free kick for Northeast coming from the far side. It went too deep. He threw it well past the net. He kicked it well past the net. And it was going out of bounds. And Northeast got a foot on it and kicked it out of bounds. Still one nothing Northeast. Still a lot of time left for Tech, but they're not dominating like they were in the first half. Northeast is taking it to them and keeping it in the Tech end. They knock it deep, and Mondays will come way out of the net and kick it away.
I'm not sure if they change goaltenders here in the second half. This could be Arazo. This could be Francisco Arazo. In that now for Northeast. Heck, with an opportunity, they blocked it. They tried to. They didn't take the shot. They tried to make the pass coming in from the far side. And it got taken away by the defense. Good defense out in front by Northeast. Heck made one too many passes. And back checking. Northeast takes it away and then they knock it out. On the far side, Tech will get the free kick right around the 15-yard line, out of out of bounds. Everybody kind of getting close out in front. They get it in front. They put it right on the net. That would have been in the net. I'm going to still call it Mundes, the starting goaltender. He made the save right about belt high. Now I'm going to say it is the other goal. They got two goaltenders. I, I believe this is Francisco Arazo because Mundus was right-footed and was a little bit shorter. So I'm going to go with Arazo in that now for Northeast. From just outside the 25, right at the 26 yard line, Northeast dead center will get a free kick. Ten minutes and counting into this second half. They drill the kick right into the ticket fence that Tech set up. Northeast takes it right back. They let it go a little too far. They let the ball roll, wait and knock it out in front. And they waited too far because it rolled out of play. <laughs> they knocked it in the back of the net. A high papa. A high pop-up. It just sailed and kept sailing. And Moises Flores will get the goal. Martinez was out a little bit, and he just watched it go right over his head into the back of the net. And Northeast grabs a 2 nothing lead. A perfect place kick. By Moises Flores. He just lifted it high. It went over the head of Martinez under the top crossbar into the back of the net. And we're going to brief pause for a, while the Northeast plays it down. This is a case, too, where you, you, know, you know, pull a muscle, get a little cramp because you haven't been playing. You haven't been competing. Practices have, have not been the same as games because you can't uh, simulate. You've got to stay apart. So it's very easy to pick up a cramp or not so much pull a muscle, or you, although you could do that. And the player was, this is after a goal scored. They were lining up to put the ball back in play, and he just... Sat down, laid down. Now the trainer is out looking at him. Just over 27 minutes left in the second half. Northeast has put a little more daylight between them and Tech. As a perfectly placed kick by Moises Flores. Just sailed over the head of Martinez in net. 
and settled into the back of the net. And that's the young man that scored the goal, Flores, who's now going to the sideline to be replaced. I know. Walk it off. So Tech has their work cut out for them. They haven't come out with the same intensity they had in the first half. First half, they kind of dominated for a long time. It wasn't until the last four minutes that Northeast scored that goal, and that was one of the few times they got a shot on net in the first half. Tech had most of the shots on net. And now they come out and Northeast has virtually kept them in their own end for a long time and now they take it away again and keep it in the Tech end one more time. It is a little bit of a trip. Ariago was looking for the ball. He didn't get the ball. He got the ankle of Marino. So the free kick will be from just inside the 25-yard line. That was in the net. Great save by Martinez. What a perfect kick. Emiliano Rogue Romero. Absolutely picture perfect. Sailing going to be under the top crossbar inside the far post. Martinez stretched as far as he could and made the save. And now they knock it home. Bouncing around out in front. And it winds up with Northeast knocking it in. I'm waiting for the turn around so I can hopefully pick up his number. Caleb Mauricio is the man that got the goal. And Northeast makes it that much tougher. We're 15 minutes into the second half. Tech, as we mentioned before, had no problems moving the ball, getting it in the Northeast end, having a couple of Picture perfect chances, but it's been a different story here in the second half. This is one of the few times they've been deep in the northeast end. And Tech knocks it home. <laughs> Tech gets on the board. They a little lackadaisical trying to feel that ball and take it away, and they let Tech get it from close in and just ripped it. <laughs> Alexander Pojoy. If that's correct, he's an eighth grader. They took their time. When it bounced, figuring they had full control, Pojoy took it away. 
Great play by Martinez, sliding and knocking it away. It was going to be one-on-one. -on -one. And that was Marino again, I think. It was going to be one-on-one. -on -one. And Martinez just slid, got there first, and cleared it away. And that goes by everybody. Bojo is only an eighth grader. Boy, he made a... They waited, and they gave him an opportunity to take that ball away, and he was point blank, and he just drilled it by Mundus or by Arazo in net. So it's three to one. And that was the first time in a long time that Tech had the ball in the northeast end here in the second half. Tech coming back. They try to knock it deep. Northeast knocks it away. A lot of these young guys had to learn a little different way of playing this game with the new rules. We mentioned before, you can't head it. So you have to time it, maybe get it with your shoulder or wait until it bounces. And I thought you couldn't slide. Uh, the goaltender, I guess, can, but I thought you couldn't slide. Trying to take it away or block a shot. Free kick coming from the near side. We had substitutions first, and now we got way over the other side. We got a Northeast player sitting down. Again, I don't know if it's a cramp or what it is. It's, it's away from the play. So it's not where somebody got whacked and knocked down or bumped into. The play was on the near side, and now the player gets up. And he's going to gingerly go. Out, be replaced. I think that's Flores again who scored the second goal, the first goal here in the second half. We chose they didn't have a lot of time to get in shape. That kick just slid down to Martinez at the side of the net. Back checking takes it away. And they're going to call Tech for making contact. Halfway through and counting the second half. Northeast on top, three to one. Northeast put three in a row up before Tech finally got on the board. With the eighth grader, Alexander Poljoy scoring the goal. Out in front, Tech clears it away. And Northeast knocks it out. Okay, Danny, it's all you. Give me two goals. Broken up. They're trying to get something started. Trying to get out of their own end. They knock it deep. Northeast is there to break it up. Bodies go down. <laughs> A 
comes off the foot of Tech, get taken away by Rook Romero. And they knock it in the net from long range. Again, Martinez came way out of the net, way away from the net. And they gave him a lot of room to get that kick from long distance with nobody in the net. And that was Marino. Ariel Marino. So they get this three goal lead back at four to one. We mentioned Martinez is only a ninth grader. Now we gotta take down and Northeast will get a free kick. Again, you look at them playing on the ground like you, you worry about them because you say, are they going to get up? And then all of a sudden they get up. Not only they get up, they're taking the free kick. <laughs> and they're bouncing around, so... It's hard to know whether, whether they're hurt or not, because when they go down, they stay down like they were shot by a gun. But then they very quickly get up and they're right back at it. Northeast got a head on it, but knocked it away. Now, they keep it in, the tech end. And we got a whistle for collision. Tech quickly goes the other way. So we're missing Martinez, he's only a freshman. He's got to learn that you can't come that far out. You can give them an awful lot of room to knock that ball in the net. Northeast trying to get there first. A little bit of a bump and a knockdown, but let's see what they call. It's going to be Tech kicking away as the ball went out of play. Substitutions for both teams. Again, I mentioned in the first half, Tech had several chances. Mundas made a couple of big-time saves. A couple of went wide. Free kick got blocked before it got to the net. See, Tech virtually controlled the territorial edge but they come out here in the second half the last four minutes northeast scored a goal i don't know if that took that momentum away or gave certainly gave northeast momentum because they come out quickly and they bottle tech up here except for that one goal tech hasn't been close They knock it deep. Northeast kicks it out of play. So it's been different in the second half. Northeast has controlled territorial-wise, and it shows on the scoreboard because they've added three goals. And we got another whistle. I don't know if he went out of bounds, but Northeast is going to get to kick it away. Hi, everybody. Marino looking for it. He's wide open, takes the shot. Ooh. Martinez just got a piece of it. Again, Tech misplayed it. 
Marino had it. He rifled a shot, was going to go inside the far post. Martinez, as far as he could dive, just got a piece of it and knocked it wide. Big bid for Marino looking for his second goal. Corner kick coming up for Northeast. They pop it up. Tech clears it away. Tech knocks it out. They kick it deep. Knocked away by the defensive tech. There's a case where three people together, somebody would have gone up, tried to get their head on the ball, but you can't do that now. So they had to wait for the ball to come down. You saw three bodies waiting for the ball to bounce. Northeast has got another shot. They knocked it wide. They were looking to pass it out in front. He threw it too far ahead, went to the far side, and he knocked it out of play. We'll have a substitution for Northeast. Again, yeah, it bounced up against Northeast in the hand. So Tech will get a free kick. But again, Northeast keeping it in the Tech end, which is where they want it, leading 4-1. They knock it deep. Broken up. Northeast knocks it deep. Here comes Northeast again, walking in. They made the pass across. They didn't take the shot again. And the defense made the play. Marino didn't take the shot. He made the pass across. If he completes it, they have a wide open net, but good defense. I think it was Ariaga that knocked it away. Otherwise, it would be now five to one. Knocked out by Tech. They still can't get the, Other than the one goal they had, they can't get the ball in the northeast end. Once again, Northeast keeping the pressure on. Tech just has to clear it out. Now it gets tipped down, and they give it. They almost gave it away. They try to tip it back to the goaltender, and they tipped it by him. And once again, here's Northeast getting by the defense. They threw the pass way too far. Martinez is able to come out and get it. Flores was coming down the near side. He... A little too early making that pass. He had a lot of room by himself to, to go in, but he tried to get it across.
Again, northeast down close. Trying to do something to get something going. They knock it deep, and the goaltender Arazo will let it go out of play. Eight minutes and counting left in this one. And now it's Arazo coming in net. So it was still Mundus who was in net for Northeast. They make the change now. So now it's Arazo, their second goaltender coming in. Northeast will kick it away. Tech has got a good little hop in their step. Blocked to the middle. Tech trying to control. Shot from long range. Got tipped by Northeast and knocked out of play. Got knocked wider than net and out of play. Tech will get a corner kick. He knock it way to the far side, trying to get in the middle. Picked off by Northeast. They knock it deep. And they knock it a little deeper. And there's Martinez again coming all the way out to the 20-yard line. Nobody in that. They were, he was very lucky that Northeast didn't get control of the ball. He was way out of the net. 20 yards away with the ball in play. <laughs> Tech finally broke up that little maneuver getting to the net. Tipped ahead. Bodies go down. Let's see who they call it on. Looks like they're calling it on tech. So Northeast will get a free kick. From inside the 20, from about the 17 yard line. Northeast will get a free kick. Now they're moving it back to the 19-yard line. Tech sets up that picket fence. Martinez got a piece and knocked it away and then picked up the loose ball and throws it upfield. And Northeast picked it off. Northeast has had quite an edge here in, in this second half. They tried to tip it home. They threw it out in front. I think it was Ariaga. Might have been Robles out in front. And there they score. They banged it home. Loose ball and a rocket. I think that's Marino again. I believe, I said Marino, but I believe it was Emiliano Roque Romero getting the goal. So a big four-goal second half by Northeast. 
and they just totally dominated here in the second half. Tech had the edge in the first half, but they, they didn't come out the same way in the second half. And here's Martinez again. He just got a piece of that. He came way out again and almost gave him a wide open shot. They knocked it right into Martinez. And we got three minutes straight up to play and counting. So a tough opener for Lintec up against Northeast. They played well in the first half, but that goal with just under four minutes left and a half for Northeast gave them all the momentum in the world. It carried over to the second half. And it was they got two more goals before Tech finally got on the board. And after Tech got on the board, they added two more. Tech takes it away. Trying to center it. Still trying to center it. Knocked away by the defense. Loose. And they got a shot off and they knocked it over the net and out of play. From the 10-yard line, they had an opportunity. It bounced out in front. And they drop kicked it over the net and out of play. That drop kick was Josh Bell Murphy. He kicked it over the net as we're in the final two minutes. So Northeast is going to go to one and zero. Oh. Tech will go to zero oh and one. And they won't have a lot of time. They'll have one day, and these two teams will be right back at it again. This time it will be at Northeast, and the girls, Tech and Northeast, will be here. The girls are playing Northeast now, so quick turnaround for both teams. Knocked away by Arazo. Closing moments of this one. A big four goal second half. And they just knock it deep. They'll take another one if they can get it, but they don't need any more. Tech breaks it up. Northeast has it back where it's been most of the time in the second half in the Tech end. Blocked and taken away by Northeast. Robles had it and lost it. Northeast will throw it in as we're counting down this, the final of this first game of the season. We mentioned we'll have soccer, we'll have basketball, we'll have football. Because classical and English playing in the GBL league will be playing basketball and Jets hockey. Tech, St. Mary's will be playing football. And Tech, boys and girls, will be playing soccer. They knock it deep. They try to little give and go broken up by Tech and they clear it away. And we're just waiting for the whistle from the official to end this one. Northeast got that goal with just under four minutes left in the first half. They carried that into the second half. I think I gave one of those goals to Caleb 
Mauricio, and it should have been Kenneth Avara Suarez. 32, not 22. Trying to knock it deep. Northeast knocks it away. Tech has just not been able to get going in the second half. They had that one play after they were down 3 nothing, where a little pop-up, the Northeast defender got a little bit, waited a little bit too long for it to bounce, thinking he had full control of it. And it was Alexander Pojoy standing next to him that took it away and had a wide open net to knock it in. That made it three to one, gave Tech a little momentum, but then that ended when they got two more goals. And that's where we are five to one as we're just waiting for the final whistle. So Tech will have it a day to get back to practice and they'll know what, what to expect from this team when they go to the Northeast because they'll play them again on Wednesday at Northeast. But right now, Northeast is going to have a happy bus ride home. That goal with less than four minutes in the first half gave them momentum after Tech outplayed them in the first half. But then Tech didn't do the same in the second half. Northeast, that goal gave them a lot of momentum. They come out in the second half and totally dominated. They put four on the board. Tech avoided the shutout on the goal by Poljoy. And we wind up with Northeast going 1-0. and Tech going 0-1 as Northeast wins it by a score of 5-1 to over the Tech Tigers. So we hope you enjoyed it here from Manning Field. I'm John Hoffman saying we'll see you next time.